Mr. President, there's a coach in Washington State. It's a football coach, junior varsity coach. He also is the, he's the head coach of the JV team, and he's the assistant coach on the varsity football team. Tonight's the last game of the season for them, but he will not be coaching on the sidelines today because last night he was dismissed from his duties in Bremerton, Washington at the high school football team. He was dismissed from his duties according to the attorneys at the school because he had the audacity last Friday night at the football game to kneel down at the end of the game and silently pray at the 50 yard line when the game was over. When the school had instructed him that he was not to silently pray at the end of a game. Now, Mr. President, you're gonna have to help me understand this. The night before the last game of the season to kick the football coach off the field because they had the audacity to silently pray when they told him not to. Now, to his defense, this is not brand new. This same coach since 2008 at the end of the games, each game, he has the habit of kneeling and praying at the 50 yard line after the kids are gone, after the game is over to thank God for the safety of his kids. It's a habit that he started seven years ago. But for some reason, the Bremerton School District has determined this is completely unacceptable. Their perspective is you can only have faith if no one sees it. They've literally set a new standard, what they're taking from the Borden case, which I'll explain in just a moment. But they're saying if you're a school official, no one can see that you have faith. Because if anyone sees that you have faith, they'll take that as the establishment of religion from the school district. That is a standard no court in America has set. That would mean any individual that's Jewish couldn't wear a yarmulke if they're also a teacher. That would mean anyone that's Muslim couldn't wear a headscarf because clearly that's a visual display of faith. That would mean no teacher could bow their head and pray before their meal at the school lunchroom. That would mean no football coach could kneel down with five seconds to go in the game in the fourth quarter before their 16 year old's about to kick a field goal and to say, no, you can't kneel down and pray on the sidelines there. The absurdity of this is to set this brand new standard that says you cannot have anyone see you have faith would mean that in this situation, this district has created a new legal standard that no one else has ever agreed to, to literally create in the federal government a, or in the school district a faith-free zone, to put up a sign on the front door that says no one can express any type of faith in this building. That is an absurd that is an absurd way to be able to practice this. They've quoted multiple times, the school district did from what the Borden case, what's called the Borden School District of the Township of East Brunswick case. In that case, this is what the actual case was. It was a football coach before the game at a mandatory meeting of the team leading them in a prayer. Now the only similarity here is prayer and football because this is not a mandatory meeting before the game. This is not a required closed time. This is an individual after the game is over, kneeling down on his own, freely expressing his faith without requiring anyone else to be there, anyone to listen. This is an individual living their faith. That is free in America, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Wiccan, whether you're Hindu, whether you're Christian, whether you're Jew, whether you're a federal employee or state employee or private citizen. Every individual retains their constitutional right to the free exercise of their religion. Now, does that mean they can coerce people or proselytize in that situation? No, it does not. The court's been very clear on that, but that's not what this was. This was not a situation where the coach was coercing his players to have to participate in a prayer or proselytizing his, his, his players while he was on school time. He was simply kneeling down to pray. And for whatever strange reason, the school district has put him on paid administrative leave and has started the process of firing a coach. I bring this up because this suddenly becomes a national issue when a school district creates a new legal standard for every person of faith in America. Every person of faith in America has the right to live their faith. A school district does not have the right to say to someone, your constitutional right ends here. I could go through in great detail the different standards that they leave out there, but their accommodation was this one simple thing. 
He could privately pray in a room of the school district's choosing. If he wanted to pray, they would put him in a spot and say, you can pray in there in a place we pick, but you can't pray out there. May I remind Americans, we do not have freedom of worship in America. We have the free exercise of religion in America. Government does not have the authority to confine your faith to the location of government's choosing. And a government entity, like a school district, cannot say to an employee, you can only live your faith over there where we pick. Mr. President, I don't know what this school district's gonna do in the days ahead but I know what Americans should do of all faiths and a people of no faith. They should rise up and say, we are a nation that protects the free exercise of religion. And people that disagree with that coach should rise up in the same way with people that agree. Because I can assure you, if they'll go silence, a Christian who is silently praying on the 50 yard line, I can assure you, they'll be after every other faith in the country and saying you can only practice your faith in the place of the government's choosing. And that is not who we are. Coach Joe Kennedy has the right to pray anywhere he wants to pray as long as it doesn't interrupt his school responsibilities. And I pray that this school district and the attorneys that are trying to manufacture a new requirement on people of faith will see that in the days ahead. With that, I yield back.